the time for the uh, penultimate action on the track. And again, it's the, the showbiz style introduction to the men's 200 metres. Amir Webb is first out. US champion from Des Moines, followed by Luxolo Adams, the South African champion. Four personal bests to his name this year. Inspired, he says, by Usain Bolt. Jareen Richards from Trinidad and Tobago, the reigning Commonwealth Games champion. He's had excellent second places in Doha, Eugene and Ostrava. Aaron Brown from Canada, silver medalist in those Commonwealth Games behind Jareem Richards earlier this year. Next up, Alex Quinones from Ecuador, two-time South American champion, Olympic finalist back in London in 2012. Alonso Edward next out from Panama, former world silver medalist, won in Monaco two years ago when this event was last run here. The world champion, Ramil Guliev from London last summer, has enjoyed two wins in Oslo and Stockholm, but he's yet to beat the man who is next out. <laughs> we wondered what he'd do. He likes to dance, he likes to rap, he's even written a song. His name is, of course, Noah Lyles. Oh, and by the way, he's also quite quick when he runs. He is one of the showmen. People already dubbing him the next Usain Bolt. He isn't Usain Bolt, thankfully, but he is Noah Lyles, and he's very, very talented indeed. It's the men's 200 metres. So Webb, USA in one. Adams, South Africa in two. Richards, Trinidad and Tobago goes in three. Brown, Canada four. Quinones from Ecuador in five. Noah Lyles, there he is in the orange, goes in six. Just 21 years old this week, a couple of days ago, in fact. He goes in six. Guliev, the world champion there, in seven. Alonso Edward in lane eight. Noah Lyles, though, from a family of 400-metre runners, he was telling us at the press conference. Mum and dad, brother, all hey, one-lappers. And he, of course, a sensation over one and 200 metres. What can he do here over the 200? He's unbeaten in three races out of three. Doha, Eugene, Lausanne, all victorious. Real talent, and as you've already seen, a real character. How will he celebrate if he wins? Saw him at the, uh, the breakfast table this morning. And I said to him, if you win, what do we can expect? And he said, wait and see. Just you wait and see. The men's 200 metres. Well, not away first time. There was a long hold there again. He just anticipated that there would be a breakaway. Be interesting to look at this. We haven't had a formal false start all evening here in Monaco. One of the problems, I think, Chris, is that there is a hugely enthusiastic crowd on the first bend of the track where the high jump is taking place. So it's uh, fully 100 metres away from these 200-metre runners. But there's a lot of noise going on as uh, an athlete prepares for the next jump. And of course, it is uh, very audible from this corner of the stadium where the 200 meter runners were under starters' orders. So Gudiev, the world champion, goes back to his mark. And we have a full complement for this men's 200 meters. It's the penultimate action on the track here in Monaco. A reminder of the lineup again from the inside Webb, USA, Adams, South Africa, Richards, Trinidad and Tobago, hey, Brown, Canada, Quinones, Ecuador, Lyles, the favorite the USA, Guliev the world champion in lane seven, and Edward, front of picture, goes in lane eight. Noah Lyles, 21 years old, unbeaten this season. The men's 200 meters. Well, this time they're away. Let's look out for Noel Lyles. He's already starting to eat into the white of uh, Ramil Guliev. And we know he gets stronger and stronger in the last uh, half of the race. The second 100 metres and everybody around is rising.
to claim Noah Lyles. Noah Lyles, a class apart, being tracked down by Guliev. But look at that lead, two metres, three metres, 1965. My word, Noah Lyles getting better and better. It's a lifetime best for Noah Lyles. And actually, the running spoke for itself. He doesn't need to dance, he doesn't need to rap, he doesn't need to sing. He just runs, and he does it rather well. It's a world lead, it's a personal best. And are we looking at the future of sprinting here for the next few years in Noah Lyles? Usain Bolt, of course, has left the scene. Now we might get a celebration. Here we go. Wow, worth waiting for. I think he's been practicing that. And Noah Lyles backs up what he said he would do. And Tim, that was quite a performance. I think every time he does that, Put that somersault, his agent's chewing his fingernails. Uh, <laughs> no Lyles in celebration, but what a good bend he ran. Also great running by in lane four for Aaron Brown, the Canadian, but Lyles just steamed away from all of them. Remember, Guliev in the white, the world champion, is a fabulous finisher. Lyles takes three metres out of him there, down the home straight. Came off the bend about two metres to the good and just goes further and further clear. So the strength of this young man, Noah Lyles, at the age of 21, is monstrous, and he will only get stronger and quicker. If he can avoid injuries, these next three or four years. We might not be looking at Usain Bolt 2, we're looking at Noah Lyles 1, but he will be very, very close to the sort of times that Usain Bolt eventually ran. Brilliant stuff from uh, Noah Lyles. 1965, yet another meeting record on an extraordinary night here in Monaco. Well, pure class, Noah Lyles. And as Tim was saying, Guliev, the world champion, is no slouch at all. Quinones, it was the uh, Ecuadorian who came through to take third place. There you see confirmation. Fastest in the world this year, 1965, Noah Lyles. Guliev, 1999, just stepping under 20 seconds. And Alex Quinones getting third in just outside 20, 20.03. Doing that backwards somersault. Oh, don't risk it. 